Hey guys, Chris here. Scorn's prologue released to Kickstarter backers two days ago, and it has been something that I've been watching the footage of since it dropped. I sadly didn't have the chance to be a Kickstarter backer for the game, so I sadly can't play it. Instead, what we're going to do is I'm going to sit here and talk about what my thoughts are on the prologue gameplay that I've seen from other creators. The background footage is the official release of the prologue walkthrough from the devs themselves. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. Starting off, I think the most important thing to mention here is this is proof that the trailers and gameplay releases that we've seen in the past were not lying to us. There is a lot of games that have come out over the last couple years that do things where they drop trailers and they drop gameplay I have quotations up because it's not real gameplay and then we play it and it's awful. Just looking at you Cyberpunk 2077, really not good look. This game is what it promised. The atmosphere is fucking amazing. Everything, the sound design, the movement, everything is wrong and as if thus, amazing. The spawning, you, you start off the game, your dude just laying on the ground, you stand up, there's a puzzle in front of you, and then you're like, ah shit, I need to go get something for that door. And then you have to backtrack, and then you find more doors that also require that thing, so you know you're going to get this thing to open all these doors, but you haven't gotten it yet, so you're going to need to do a little bit more looking around, and I fucking love that. The puzzles are creative, and they're all just... Ugh, they're all just grotesque and wrong and nasty. You get this little thing where you're pushing this cart with this little baby little looking thing in it. People are calling it the mold man, apparently. You push him around and then you put him on this weird contraption where there's this crane you gotta work. And then the crane goes scoop the little boy up and then put him in another device. Like, that shit's awesome. The footage from the trailers wasn't lying to us. And you don't know how much that means to me as a gamer in this fucking day and age. I'm simply in love. Aside from that, it's also proof that the game is finished. A lot of people were worried that the game was going to get pushed back further from its release date planned in October. But if they're releasing the prologue, that probably means the rest of the game is done. If I was a dev, if I was going to push the game back, I'd probably say so now, not release the prologue, rather than release the prologue to the Kickstarters and then all the other players who are looking forward to the game have to wait six decades before the game comes out. So I don't think the game is going to get pushed back any further, which is good news. It means I'm going to be able to finally play the damn game. Which, getting into that, we can look at gameplay. Gameplay, I mean, we've talked a lot about it in the dev pulses, in the videos that I covered those on. They, It is a puzzle-based game that has deep horror atmospheres. You feel like at every single moment of this prologue that something's going to jump out of a shed and fucking shank you. Now, nothing does. There are no enemies in this. There is no... I don't think there's any way to die. I haven't seen anybody die in any of the playthroughs I watched of it. However, it feels like you could. It feels like when you turn a corner... Jimmy is going to jump you with a shotgun, and Jimmy never arrives. And that is fucking amazing. Even knowing that Jimmy isn't going to jump you, even knowing that there's no enemies in the prologue, something I knew before watching any footage, it's still fucking spooky because the atmosphere builds up as if there is. There doesn't need to be an enemy if you think there's an enemy. You're still going to play cautiously, still going to play like a scared little cat sprinting around in these unknown fleshy environments. Because to you, there could be something. You don't know because the game doesn't want you to know. And that is simply beautiful. I think that is amazing game design, and I'm, I'm excited to see what the whole game is like. I mean, we have eight minutes of prologue that can be played through right now, but that's not enough. I need more. I need more of these atmospheres. I need more of these sounds. I need more of these puzzles. I need more sense of wrong. I'm, Dan, I'm sorry I don't have any gameplay. I can't play it myself. I wasn't a Kickstarter back in 2017. Don't know how to be a Kickstarter now. But I really enjoyed the prologue. I, I suggest you guys check out some more footage of it if you can. I felt like just making a video on my thoughts on it real quick to get us all hyped up for Sworn's release next month was apt. But that's all I got for you guys today. This has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.